there's a race for resources along the Euphrates River in eastern Syria, and that race will only intensify following the defeat of ISIS in Raqqa. On the western bank of the river, you have pro-regime forces, the Syrian government, backed by Iran, backed by Russia, uh, and allied militias. On the eastern bank, you have the Syrian Democratic Forces, uh, known as the SDF, Kurdish-led, incorporating a wide array of local Arab allies, backed by U.S. air power and special forces. For the Syrian actors themselves, a huge focus here is not simply uh, conquering cities and towns from ISIS. It's uh, scooping up, seizing oil and gas resources, and territory along the Iraqi border, which has strategic value here. As both sides seek to move as quickly as they can down the river, uh, the risk of direct confrontation rises. It's also worth noting here a potential divergence in priorities, uh, at least on uh, the SDF side, between the Kurdish-led forces themselves, who are absolutely focused primarily on seizing oil and gas because they view that as giving them leverage uh, over the regime if there's, you know, in the event of any political negotiations, uh, but also in, even in the immediate economic leverage. That's a focus of Kurdish leadership. The U.S., however, has a particular interest in really moving as quickly as possible to defeat ISIS in remaining major cities and towns along the river uh, that it still controls, most notably the town of Al-Buk Kamel, right along the Iraqi border. The Kurdish-led forces don't necessarily have a great interest in expending the manpower and resources necessary to take and hold these cities. The U.S. does. There may be some negotiation over that. When we observe the trajectories of Iranian and Russian-backed pro-regime forces on the Euphrates' western bank and Kurdish-led SDF forces backed by the United States on the eastern bank, what we see is that momentum has shifted back and forth. Even as, again, they're not confronting each other directly except in rare instances of altercation. They're racing each other through seizing territory from ISIS and to some extent what we see is that the war against ISIS in this part of the country has become a means to an end. Uh, the end here being acquiring more territory, more resources, more leverage against the other.